When someone Googles you or searches your name, what do you want them to see? What's the message that you want to send to the world? Is it intelligence or confidence or positivity? If so, is there a way to control this? Spoiler, the answer is yes. It's called LinkedIn. Let's talk about it. Hello, my name is Rich Goodman. I work for McDaniel College's Center for Experience and Opportunity, or CEO, and my title is Associate Director of Career Development. Here to tell you today about LinkedIn, what it is, and why you should care, which you should. Before we get started, I want you to know that this video, like all videos like it, is just an introduction. I'd love to talk to you individually about how best you can uh, create your own profile, or we can chat about your career, resume, cover letter, internships, mock interviews, grad school, or just about your day. It's very easy. All you have to do is just go to uh, ceo.mcdaniel.edu you scrolling down to handshake right here click on schedule an appointment and you are right there boom it's just that easy so LinkedIn LinkedIn is a social networking platform with an emphasis on the networking part so kind of getting into the idea of what is social media versus LinkedIn versus um, a resume. So resume obviously is a very formal document that has your entire work history potentially on that. Um, so it's very formal, it's very professional. Um, social media on the other end of the spectrum is much more loosey-goosey, kind of fun. Uh, it's your personality obviously and your own free expression. LinkedIn is somewhere in between. So LinkedIn is going to be your opportunity to express yourself in a professional way. So it's, it's very grounded in that professionalism, but then have a little bit of tweak as far as who you are and what makes you unique. But let's let's get into the specifics here. So first thing I want to talk about is your profile. So this is just what you kind of see when you log in after you create your profile. Uh, but if you go to your individual profile, you can kind of see what it looks like. So what is the first thing that pops out to you about this profile? A few things might be the images, right? So like the profile picture, the cover photo, possibly the about section here, or even the featured section here. But the first thing you see is this picture, right? So who is this person? What do they do? What's their name? Who are they, right? So what do you see about this specific photo uh, of me here? So it's, you know, I'm trying to be professional in this photo, it's, you know, it has good lighting, it's, you know, it's welcoming, it's engaging. As best as possible, you should also always try to tell a story with your images if you can. So on mine, I have a few small things. So I have Shepherd University up here as my alma mater. I even threw in some books back here to pretend that I'm well-read and even a Van Gogh to pretend that I'm cultured. Uh, so always use your space effectively to bring in a little bit of flair to tell a part of your story. Your cover photo right here, um, that's just going to be essentially uh, something that makes it um, relevant to who you are and what you want to do or what you already do and also unique. So you don't want to have it just be a blank image, obviously. Um, I would also advise it to be something tied to what you do. I fail at that. I just like this picture because I took it myself and I think it's really pretty. That's space that I'm not using effectively. So you could certainly market what you do in that image. Uh, some people even go as far as to actually add in like their uh, their uh, Twitter handle or like, you know, their you know other social media that you might have here as well. Um, that's up to you. Um, I, I don't uh, choose to do that, but that's that's your call. So now to the crucial about section, which I don't use very well at all, but you should don't be a rich. So as you can see, uh, there's, you know, a brief, you know, two to three sentence um, line here, and then you can expand more. Some people go into, you know, a lot of depth here, and that's fine. Um, I think I'd recommend to do more than I do here. Uh, I just have a couple things that are important to me, you know, my uh, categories for who I am and, you know, uh, you are, I find to be important, that kind of stuff. Um, but it's up to you to uh, fill that out. I recommend this top section over here, obviously, um, being uh, more eye-catching. What's the hook that gets them to keep reading the rest of your About Me section? Um, so that's going to be things like uh, keywords, not buzzwords. You don't want to have things that everyone else is already saying and kind of form a stigma against those. So what are the key words that really identify who you are, what you believe in, but not just for cycled stuff that everybody else already says all the time. It is not a book. Uh, it's a summary of what's important uh, that you want the employers to know if they want to keep reading your profile. Okay, so that's your about section. So this is a new feature actually, huh, feature um, of LinkedIn called Featured. Um, and you can actually feature uh, you highlight things at the top of your page that you really want them to see. So there's an article that I wrote a few years ago that you know I'm really proud of, so I brought that to the top of my page. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, you can kind of pull things out through your profile that you really appreciate and feature those at the top of your page, which is kind of cool. So the activity that you post to your LinkedIn is going to be a lot more uh, things that are uh, professionally focused or business focused. So things like um, you are celebrating your own success or that of someone else. That's great. Um, or you can give like a shot to somebody, you know, say that this person does a great job at this. 
Um, posting articles or philosophies that you believe in is, is a huge thing too. So it's just highlighting accomplishments and interests of yours that make sense in a professional world. You won't be as active on LinkedIn as you are in other profiles, certainly. I'm going to be posting you know, 10 times a day, five times a day. There's no story aspect of LinkedIn yet, uh, but we'll see how that goes. So it's called LinkedIn for two reasons. One, because you're, you know, like you're linked to other people, but two, you can bring links into your profile to make it more active. So resume is very stagnant. It's a, you know, it's a, you know, it's a one page document usually. Uh, it's, it's mostly just words unless you have like a, you know, artistic profile or portfolio, and then you can pull in some pictures possibly. Uh, but usually it's just words. Now, a LinkedIn though is again, it's that middle ground between social media and uh, your resume. So it's a, it's a, um, it's a mixed model. So you could have in uh, some multimedia and I encourage that, especially links. What I'm saying to you is that you should never miss an opportunity to bring in links to really make your profile shine. So last year I had a student that wrote a little story about me in the school paper. I brought that in here. I write often for a publication back home. I have links here to all my stories. So that's the idea of linking things in, very important. Uh, bringing in things like your website, blogs, portfolios are huge. So if you are in the arts field especially, um, a portfolio is huge, education even too. Um, things like GitHub, things like YouTube, things like Spotify, things like Unsplash. These are all uh, portfolios that you can use to market yourself in a different way to show right from your career profile this is what I can actually do on a different website. So go look here too. Then you want to take some time to really add some context to your experience section. What did you do in each of your job and internship roles? What did you accomplish there? What tools did you use? How many people were on your team? Give some quantities there. Why did you do it that way? What was your goal or your intention? What were your achievements, your accomplishments, and your impact on that organization? Then the education section, pretty self-explanatory. All you got to do is put in the school name, your degree. And if you have anything like your organizations or your research or your capstone, that's good to put here too. There are a lot of other sections and customization options that you can add as well. I have volunteer experience here, which is huge in any industry, by the way. But you can add your section to customizations by clicking this button up here, scrolling through what things they want you to talk about potentially, and adding things in as you like. One thing I want to really highlight here is your skills and endorsement section and your recommendation section. That's one way for you to say, here's something I think that I'm good at, and I want other people to kind of endorse me in that too. So once you list that skill, um, your connections can go back through and then actually say, yeah, I agree, they are good at that thing. Thinking about how you get endorsements and recommendations. So I want you to think about for a second how potentially you might get followers for like Instagram. Um, you know, like one big way to do that is to follow someone first, right? So that's the idea, is if you want to get endorsements, you want to get recommendations. One way is to just ask for them. Another option is for you to go and give someone an endorsement or recommendation first in hopes that they will return the favor. But again, activate those things first is the number one thing. The next part I want to really get into is just kind of the pro tips, essentially. So one is that um, brag, humbly brag. Um, this is your chance to market yourself and show what you've done and where you've been and what you can accomplish. List accomplishments that you've done. And bring in examples. Bring in references to back it up. Show off a little bit. Uh, two, again, links are extremely important. Uh, make sure you have a link or a photo or a video for everything that you can. Uh, the last thing uh, is just to, is just to make it pretty. Again, so yeah, this is your chance to make it pop. You know, so if that is coming down here and adding like the specific you know companies, so you can bring in logos or you know just adding you know these videos or, or pictures is important too. The last thing I want to get into is just how you connect with people and how you uh, use this as a tool for marketing. This is not a platform where you go and you connect with anybody you've ever breathed the same air with. Um, it's much more about people that you've actually interacted with and worked with on a regular basis. Your actual network of people that know your competencies. If you know them well, just send them a connection request. Um, that's fine. Uh, but usually the guide is that if you want to connect with someone, you should at least include some kind of a message there too. So when you click connect with someone, highlight how you know them is, is number one. Two is, you know, to kind of flatter them or compliment them, you know, to say, hey, you know, this, you know, I was happy to meet you at the job fair last week. Um, you know, I was very impressed with your, your business model or like your uh, professional development opportunities. I want to talk to you more about X, Y, Z. Like that's the idea. So one, um, how I know you. Two, compliment or flatter. And then three is a call to action. So I'd love to get coffee sometime. Talk more about your success. Bring all that back. Here's who I am. Here's why you should care. Let's meet up sometime. Okay. The last thing is how to use LinkedIn as a networking tool. So if you actually search a job or you can search 
um, a company, a person, it's up to you. So if I go in here and I search McDaniel College, let's start with people. So then I can see all the people that are associated with McDaniel College on LinkedIn. Uh, so as you just kind of scroll through, you can see all these different alumni and stuff. Um, that's one way to do it. Um, schools specifically also will allow you to see everyone here that's been associated with McDaniel College who's listed it in their profile as an alumni. So that's one way to find people in your field. So let's say you want to be, you know, like a lab tech. So you type in here laboratory and see what comes up. It's 306 people that went to your college that are all, you know, have some kind of experience in a laboratory. Say, I want to connect with a nurse. I want to connect with a doctor. I want to connect with a lawyer. I want to connect, you know. So that's how you can find those people. One way. Another way is to use your uh, mutual connections. Let's just say you want to work for T. Rowe Price. Okay. So you click that in and then you can see people there. And then you'll see... Uh, your connections. So if there's a second here, that means that you know someone who knows them. So that's your that's your way in. You see what I'm saying here? So you can go with that way or you can, you know, search based upon, you know, if they had McDaniel College in their uh, past school. You can search all that here too. That's the best practice for how you can create a LinkedIn, how you can use a LinkedIn, and what's the purpose and importance of it. Now again, LinkedIn has a very um, high search return. So if you go to Google and you search my name, for example, you know, in the McDaniel College, it's going to be in one of the top few results is by LinkedIn because uh, I've gone through and I've, I've filled out the profile. So it's there. So I'm being proactive and telling my story, what I want people to see right here on my LinkedIn. So I'm going through and I'm being very intentional with certain words I want to use, certain keywords, uh, certain people I connect with, and certain uh, things that I post. That's the whole point of LinkedIn is being able to show your best self or your intended self to future employers, to internships, to grad schools, to um, potential connections. Again, there's a lot more to it. You can look for jobs on LinkedIn. You can take classes on LinkedIn. This is just the introduction. So if you have any questions, let me know. My email is rgoodman, that's R-G-O-O-D-M-A-N at mcdaniel.edu. Also, if you're a McDaniel student, you can meet with me virtually over the phone or in person, ceo.mcdaniel.edu to make an appointment on Handshake. That's where I am. Um, and I hope you all have a great day.